Welcome back, Patriots. Today is Monday, February 24th, and this is your Patriot Press News. I'm Megan Smyatt, and this is your morning announcements. This week is National FFA Week, and in honor of this, we at your campus FFA chapter will be bringing you the news this week. Along with the news, we want to share history with you as well. In 1928, in Kansas City's Baltimore Hotel, 33 young farmer boys charted a course for the future. The National FFA Organization, originally called the Future Farmers of America, was an organization for boys in rural farming communities. Its original purpose, the education of youth in agricultural fields of study. Today, the mission of the National FFA Organization is to make a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education. Since 1928, millions of agricultural students, no one knows exactly how many, have donned the official FFA jacket. FFA has opened its doors and arms to minorities and women, ensuring that all students could reap the benefits of agricultural education. In honor of National FFA Week this week, Heritage FFA is hosting our chapter agri-science fair. Come check out the projects that our students spent all last semester working on. Cast your ballots for staff favorite project. The Agri-Science Fair will be held after school on Wednesday from 3.10 to 4.10 p.m. at the ARC. Over break, your varsity boys baseball were busy winning games, starting off the season now with a 3-0 record. Great job, gentlemen. Also during our time off, Heritage Mock Trial took their case to the Riverside County Courthouse to compete against other schools while being judged by actual district attorneys and judges. Congratulations to all students and congrats to Jorge Aragon, won second place in the county for his portrayal of the defendant, Bailey Matsumoto. HHS Swim opened competition this past weekend at the Poly Pentalon, where freshman Jacob Van Resburg got the first CIF cut of the season in the 50 free. Senior Jenna Taylor took sixth overall in the backstroke. This week, we begin our dual meets against Takowitz at home Thursday and Friday. We host the drop zone relays under the lights. Let's go, Patriots. Interact Club is having a meeting this Thursday. First lunch in W103 and second lunch in the band room, R148. Hey guys, it's David here. I just wanted to let you know that Patriot Olympics is starting back up again. It's going to be held on March 20th. Registration is open all the way from now all the way until February 28th. For more information, you can visit ASB Counseling R143 or you can refer back to your email for more information posted there. Make sure when you're registering, you have at least six or more people to form a team. For more information, you can go ahead and visit those sites. I'll see you guys there. That's our announcements for today. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.